The following podcast is not real, but it is really sponsored by Bitbash. Bitbash, Chicago's interactive arts festival, is back with a vengeance on August 22nd. Go to www.bitbashchicago.com and use the promo code PODCAST10 for 10% off your ticket. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the Magical Land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you haven't listened to the podcast before, here's what's going on. Months back, I fell through a magical portal behind a Burger King into the magical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a slight Wi-Fi signal, I think, from the Burger King. And I use that to host a weekly podcast here in the tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hogsface, in the land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my guests, Chunt, the Talking Badger. Hello. And Usador. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Feline Zelic. The dwarves know me as Zonin and Uxtanges. And I am known in the northeast as Gesmuinus Mesa. And there may be other secret names you do not know yet. And Arnold, you did not give your complete backstory. What did I What did I forget? I've you been skipped, here so long, I might you be You skipped for- the part. Where you made love to a gremlin that looked like your wife? Well, yeah, you not, fucked a memory gremlin. I did. I, I did. First of all, I did not fuck a memory gremlin. I thought a memory. Yes, you, yes, you did. I thought a you memory. Absolutely I, did. A memory gremlin tricked me into thinking that she was my wife, and <laughs> I did spend a romantic uh, evening with that memory gremlin. And I went I, to Skur this week, and I told everybody. Oh, I was just like. The funniest thing happened in Hog's face. Arnold had sex with the memory gland, and it looked like Sarah. Yeah, we, I've decided to just not feel bad about it. I'm sure there's going to come a time I'm going to have to explain this to my wife. But you know what? Mistakes happen. I don't imagine she'll be too worried. I mean, it'll probably take a while for her to understand really what happened. Oh, she's moved on. She's moved uh, yes, on. Uh, no, she's well, moved on with her life, and I don't think she's going to be too worried about what you've done here. For she's happy, and she's surely dating someone else, perhaps no, even engaged no. by now. How? No. How fast do relationships move on in Foon? It's only been it's been less than half a year. Well, I mean, in Foon, I don't know how it is on Earth, but anytime somebody fucks a memory gremlin, that's pretty much the end of a relationship. You know, the other day, Usador and I. Uh, killed a goat and we conjured up a picture of uh, Smash Mouth. <laughs> that yes, was a waste. Right. Yikes. What a waste of a Yikes. goat. Why? Yikes. That goat did yes. not. That What's goat died that facial in vain. Hair? What I is tried, that facial hair? I tried to resurrect the goat because I felt guilty. <laughs> I know. It was That's the worst pretty. reason a goat has ever died. You know, died. somebody once told me that Arnie fucked a memory gremlin. Sorry for the weird emphasis on <laughs> I. I, I magically looked at Wait, that. Wait, why did you say it like that? Are you all right? I don't know. I just, I started to say somebody once told me that you uh-huh. fucked a memory gremlin, and for whatever reason, I said, somebody once told me. Well, when we looked at this magical image, we, we started getting more than just the image. We started getting certain feelings and mm-hmm. thoughts and uh, uh, words appearing in our heads, and I looked at that terrible picture of them, and I thought, all that glitters is not gold. Yeah, it's had a profound effect on us. Wow. I, uh... Are they I don't remember enough about Smash Mouth to participate in this conversation. Trust me. Trust me. There are strange things running through our brains. Uh-huh. Isn't that your wife's favorite band? And you that don't, is. And you it, don't yes. know enough? I mean, you answered your own uh, question about uh, relationships. No, that's, that is true. You I don't know not, your... I am, not an pers- I am personally not a huge Smash Mouth fan, but it is true. My wife, Sarah Maher, her real favorite band is Smash Mouth. And if you are out there, Sarah... Or I, Smash Mouth. <laughs> wait, for the first time in forever, he's about to... Go ahead. <laughs> well, I was actually got distracted. If you're out there, Smash Mouth. Yes, this is far more us, important. Send us an email at magictavern at puppies.supplies uh, and help me get in touch with my wife. She would be very, I mean, I feel like she would take the news best from Smash Mouth. Is, in your world, is Smash Mouth someone who would talk to you? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I would say no, but they're getting Somebody close. once told her her husband had sex with a memory gremlin. Usador, you're becoming almost like a shock jock. What do you, what do you mean by that? I don't. It's Earth stuff. I don't want to explain Earth. No, stuff. that's how. Right. We'll do. We will do an Earth oh. stuff episode sometime oh. soon. I promise. Oh.
Oh, oh, it got cold. so cold. So oh. cold. What the fuck oh, is that? Whoa. Greetings, walkers in the realm of Hog's face. Name thyself, demon. What be thy form? Name have I not. Oh. Oh. Gas minus may star. He's from the northeast. Some of us are. We are from many realms. But we walk as one. <gasps> I don't understand. He smells like he's dead. He does. He looks like he's dead. This is the darkest of omens. A soul walker here amongst us at the tavern. Soul walker? It sounds like a Rudger Hauer movie or something. Unwed mothers! What? Hide thyselves away! Arnie, is this your guest for this week? I, I, I didn't have a guest for this week. I was going to do an Earth Stuff episode, but I guess... Don't be rude. Interview him. <laughs> Tell me your purpose in being here, foul creature. No purpose greater than to learn of your doings here, Arnie <gasps> Whoa, he knows my name. It even sounds dumb when he says it, and his voice is awesome. Yes, his voice is awesome. Uh, uh, Arnie, knee camp. Okay, Soul Walker, Soul Walker. What, what is, is, can I call you anything else besides Soul Walker? We are the Soul Walker. We were resurrected by the necromancers of the Dark One. Oh, no, you see a Soul Walker. Is a corpse that is filled with the souls of many beings. There could be upwards of seven souls in there. There are thirteen. Oh, or maybe like a, a dozen. I don't know. Oh, thirteen is more than a, a dozen. Baker's, that's what we call in Foon a baker's dozen. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, do, you, do you have a baker's dozen? We on do. A, we do have a. Oh, we also in Foon we have a phrase. Uh, we say uh, spice potato, spist potato. It's we kind of like we it's the same have, thing. No, we don't have that. Spice potato, spist potato, because it's. This is People a, pronounce this is a, this is a soul walker here. No. It started with seven, but did not take. More had to be added to give me life. Well, you see, the necromancers of the Dark Lord, they've created something more evil than even the most evil creature that I have ever seen. Oh, 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 that I could cast thee out of here right now. Fear you the power of light and shadow. I cast... Falichin Kala Pantan! Agroth on Margaroth. Usador's mouth is sewn oh, shut. This is the best guest we've ever had. We are armed with the spells of the Dark One. We speak with one voice, one at a time. Does that mean that when one of you talks, you all talk? No matter what you're doing? We take turns word by word. Oh, the 13 people inside you. I'm sorry. Yes. So the way there are 13 ghosts inside of you? That is one way of putting it. It's like the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo. I'm trying to remember. Here, I'm going to take this knife. It's going to hurt, but I'm just going <laughs> to... Uh, 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 That's uh, a sting. Uh, uh, Is that a uh, laugh? Uh, uh. They laugh one heart at a time. <laughs> they laugh one heart at a time? So, you know, in my world, there's actually like an improv exercise. That this is sort of like uh, here where we go each, your, each uh, person uh, has to uh, just say one word at a time. And it's very difficult to pull off. Is this? It is. What makes it work is listening. <laughs> Can we give you the title of the story and the 13 souls inside you have to create a story one word at a time? That is an interesting challenge. It's not what you say, but the gifts you give the fellow souls that count. I am not here to spin tales. You have spoken the name of the Dark One. Uh, that was probably Arnie. No, that was Usador. You said his name. Yeah, well, you would have got the wrong. His ears, his mind, his eyes are bent on you, walker between the worlds. Oh, you knew it! Yes, you see, I told you long ago. Look, I'm, no, no, I'm oh, just... Oh, thank God he just wants Arnie. No, well, guys, you see, come on. Take him, buddy, take him, buddy, take him. Let go, let go. Look. <laughs> see you here. Look, come on, we gotta work together. Maybe we can defeat him. Look, in my world... Let's huddle up, huddle up. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's huddle up. Give us a huddle. Okay, so in my world, there's an improv exercise that this is kind of like where it's one word at a time. I'm already bored. We have to... <laughs> 
Wait, Wait he's in the huddle. <laughs> oh. <But> hello. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, should you, uh, well, go ahead and say it. Okay. So, in my word, like, if we can convince one of these spirits to be just kind of a dick and always like throw it off and just like not participate and just like throw in a word that doesn't really make sense with the sentence, maybe it'll like just. Throw off the whole inner workings of all the ghosts inside why, him. Why would somebody do that? Wouldn't they want to feed into the story? I don't know. Oh, disgruntled funny. spirits, mastered by the necromancers of the Dark Lord. Dost thou wish any freedom to speak thine own words and not be the mouthpiece of another? We have never known true freedom till we were free from death by the Dark Lord. Okay, how about <laughs> I don't think he was done. What, what, what? <laughs> but, 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 this is where <laughs> listening comes in I, 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 handy. What about? Knowing where to stop is just as important as knowing when to begin. That's true. A lesson you could learn well. I mean, he has a point. I, he works with the Dark Lord, but you did cut him off. I, well, I, I thought he was saying that it wasn't going to work, and then no one was going to help. I thought Arnie's plan was stupid. Oh. Fine. Why don't we go ahead and interview him a little bit more? So, Soulwalker, who are these 13 souls that make you up? The souls of those who served the Dark One in life and in return were granted the gift of immortality to dwell forever in waking death within this shell. Tell us about maybe the your favorite of the souls, like a little bio or something about or maybe how they died or something. Hard to pick favorites. Yet, let one come forth. Oh, 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 oh. I speak now as myself. My name was Crispix. <laughs> Crispix? I was a troubadour in the realm of Grimfallon, always second Best was I until I pledged myself to the Dark One. He gave me the power to play music so beautifully that I became the most wondrous in the realm. Is that useful to the Dark One? I mean, Would you play like the fiddle or what was like your. I played the rim horn. Oh, okay. Uh, rim horn? Rim horn. Hmm. Sounds, sounds kind of dirty. You need a very tight embouchure in order to play the rim horn correctly. Is an embouchure like a butthole, or what's a embouchure? <laughs> I suppose a butthole has an embouchure all its own. I see. So you got like employed as a, you, you got a, like a rim job, basically. Yes, I was given a rim job. By oh, the this king. guy's a pervert. Bring forward another one. This guy's. A <laughs> Questions, but he was being a pervert. No, that's fair. Well, and that's coming from me. That's coming from me. Hello, I was called Jorix. Oh, this guy seems fun as hell. I loved a woman who did not love me back. Mm. I can tell from your faces you've been there. Yeah, yeah. sure. The Dark One gave me glamours to seduce her. And in return, all I had to give him was our firstborn. Oh, that's not so bad. No, that's that's that is bad. Considering the death rate, I mean, it's I mean, crap it's shoot anyway. It was basically nothing. Yeah. And furthermore, the gift of immortality here within this Soulwalker corpse. All right, I've slipped a rock into the Soulwalker's pocket. Yeah, it's a magical rock. These, these, are, these rocks don't. These rocks don't do just, anything. I've seen you actually do magic, but I don't understand your obsession with these rocks. The rocks will pull the souls out and separate the monster back into the separate beings. Just, just, just keep it talking. Do you usually can, do you usually call yourself we, or do you call yourself Soul Walker? Like, is it do you? We normally call ourselves we. Gotcha. Okay. We're really not getting the most useful of information. What? I what mean, we're trying. We can get more information about the dark. Well, you ask him something. What? What is, this is your podcast. You ask him okay. something. We have subsumed and are now as one. Uh, Great, you dick. You made them come back together. What is the Dark Lord's plan in sending you here? What is his dark purpose? What does he hope to learn from Arnie Kneecap? Merely to offer the gifts <gasps> that he can extend to such a one as can travel between the realms and his companions. Let's I hear was, the offer. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 we don't no, let's listen hear to the offer. It. Let's hear it's it. It's not going to hurt to hear it. All right, yeah. fine. One who has traveled so far 
these rivens between worlds. The Dark One wishes to travel these same roads to spread his influence farther. If he can learn, he will offer you what you desire, your Sarah. Wow. Is anybody else getting turned on by his image? <laughs> This is not the time. Just the amateur of his voice is. It's very. It is, it is very powerful. He's so the Dark Lord is saying that if I can teach him how to travel between worlds, he can give me my wife back and my my whole family. Of course, using his necromantic powers, Wait. he will dismember the corpses of those who have served him, and with the spells of the Ogshoths. Make a new Sarah for you, okay, greater yeah. than she who came before. Yeah, you I will guess. forget the one that yeah. you knew. I guess I'm gonna Can you say Ogshoros three times fast? If I do that, a demon will be conjured. No, don't. In our midst. Don't. Do not. <laughs> Let's see what, where this goes. No, I don't know. Ogshoros. That's just a little demon <laughs> with a top hat. Chunt. One. John, stay two, away. No. Three, four. Oh, he has no. four buttholes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gimme, 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 gimme. No, 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 no. no. All, right. All right, look, guys, let's let's take a quick break. Let's let's keep Chunt away from this little four butthole demon. And uh, and let's get I need a drink. I need a drink right now. Hi, it's Otak Barleyfoot from the Vermilion Minotaur. This week's rumor of the week is the smoldering widow is a festering stinkhole who are terrible at both mittens and bone pins. Sorry, smoldering widow. If you'd like to hear another rumor, you're going to have to come down to the Vermilion Minotaur and buy yourself a, or your friend a drink from any of our fine bar staff. The Vermilion Minotaur, uh, right on the fool's errand, just at the corner of McShingleshane Forest. Hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite offices and bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. All right, we're back. I don't know what the fuck to, <laughs> what the fuck to do. We had that whole break to come up with a plan. I, we didn't. I just drank. The, I just drank three meads really fast. That's too fast. Soul Walker! What does the Dark Lord know of the encroaching void? He knows the void. He has learned to fear it. He yearns to dominate it and needs the aid of the powerful. If you would lend your might, you Sidor, to the Dark One. You would be made rich by his mercy and his gifts. My power joined with that of the Dark Lord? That's the first time you've been asked to go on a quest. Yeah. Light and shadow, aiding the Dark Lord. Why such a being could create magical wonders of such strength, unknown power, untold... Think Destructive of power. Yes. I could become the greatest wizard in all of food. But wait, Usador, yes. Usador, Usador, listen to me. Yes, you could join up with the Dark Lord, but you'd probably fuck it up. You would fuck it up. I was... All right, never mind. I don't want to do it. Ah. Oh, I'm wow. still taking offers. What do you got? Chunt. Yes. You're so close to his face right now. What is it you wish most of all? Ten buttholes. No, no. I'd be dumb to do ten. Eleven. Never Would that collapse happy. my butt? Yes, you'd be a disaster. <laughs> no, to become a creature so dense with buttholes would to be a thing more whole than creature. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like a sponge. Let me think. I just want... Oh, boy. I don't want to fuck this These up. These are the abominations that please the Dark One. Chunt, do you have any non-butthole-related wishes or dreams or I mean, aspirations? Not, not really. I mean... What if you just went back to one? Really? Really go minimal. Okay, wait. If I had a permanent picture 
or a permanent painting of Queen Titania, <gasps> naked, but she's like covered in like like she's wet. Oh, like milk or something. Uh, <laughs> what? I, I mean, so to clarify. <laughs> Just a picture. I think and you'll so. join the Dark Lord for this picture. The yeah, power so. of the Dark One could transform you into anything. I can already could transform into anything. Provide you with anyone to pleasure yourself upon and thus transform into. I can do that but too. But a picture would suffice to please your soul. I gotta get better for I don't like that he said pleasure upon. That sounds. <laughs> Yes, I, just, I think that's Chris Beck's talking. They just talking. throw pleasure at you. Yeah, you pleasure. We do not experience pleasures of the flesh any longer. Do you have a, do you have a penis or a, a vagina? It withered and desiccated oh. Oh. long ago. So Walker, what? I, I gotta be honest with you. Like, what is the upside? You, you keep talking about some... how great it is to be this, this like living, walking corpse. But honestly, it seems like kind of a raw deal. It's great. So, S S Dub, if I can call you S Dub, what can you let us know? Like, what the Dark Lord is like? like... He is darkness incarnate. Hmm. If you were to see him, he would steal the light from your eyes. It's awesome. Do you mean light? Such as this, gaily lived in color. Ah, look on that light, Soul Walker. Does it burn your eye? Does it burn your soul? Look at me, he's kind of squinting. Sinofola. Criddle Steve, cut in power. Freshness, aqua fresh, comedy stain. I'm gonna go grab some. Beer. Yeah, they're just gonna. Rick Arsilar, Torem Pontain, for a cool. Oh man, it's just like people thinking at each other really hard. It's like the end of Dark City. Here you go. Here's him. Me. Look, Soul Walker. Is there anything we can do to stop the Dark Lord? There must be some part of you, some part of your 13 souls, that wants to speak out and give us any kind of clue about how we can stop this. Arnold, this is the gift that you are supposed to bring to my party. I think I saw this in an episode of The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. It just might work. What is Scooby-Doo? <laughs> Will you join our quest to defeat the Dark Lord? What is this temptation laid before us? There must be one of you that just fucking hates your boss. Yeah, whatever that soul is, like, let's, we'll give that soul Does asylum. one of you yeah. like spiced potatoes? Rainbow bowls? There is none of us that could be dick by... Oh, oh there it is. We are immortal and cannot be taken in by such car. <laughs> He's a dick and cock. One of the souls. Uh, That's true. Well done, Arnold. Uh, I bet it's Chris Bex. I bet it's 100 100 rubies. It's Chris Bex. uh, I think this idea that Arnold put forth and my rock have turned against this soul (laughs) walker. It's not the rock. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the rock. (laughs) What could you even offer such a one as us? Freedom. And or friendship. friendship. Spice Both potatoes? Is it friendship or freedom? Uh, it's huddle, huddle, huddle. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's, he's in the huddle. huddle. He's, he's in the huddle again. It is easy to slip into a huddle. This, this is true. I know, because we're just lo- we're looking at each other. Just, we're not seeing what's going on around us. A huddle is like the most vulnerable position you can be very in. Very true, very true. You don't know someone's sneaking up at you. Oh, wait, wait. What, what would they do in Scooby-Doo? In this kind of thing? They would rip the head off. They and there'd be what? would be a mask underneath. If you rip off a head, it's a mask. I don't think you know how heads and faces work. It was a yeah. once you rip off someone's head, that's not a mask. Let's try. You've killed them. Just carve his head. Do your thing, uh, Rock. Go. I took off his head and twelve sprouted. Oh, it's all his head. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god, oh god. I'm gonna put it back on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Temper not with the delicate spells that hold my body in balance. We free us. Free us. Who, who is this? Is this Crispix? No, Crispix is a pervert. This is a different voice. <laughs> it's a new voice. Who is this? Who are you? This is a living death. This is a prison. How can we free you? What can we do? The rune. 
that's drawn on the forehead mm-hmm. of of the soul walker. If you erase it, the spell will be broken. Our souls will return to death. Oh, quick, here, I'm going to lick my thumb. I'm just trying to... Before you do, I must tell you the most important... No, 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 you should have... No. God damn it. God Why damn did you... It. God damn it. Now there's just this fucking corpse Why here. didn't he say that first? I know, that was... He did that on purpose. Guys, guys. Oh. G- good news. Good news. We defeated a soul walker today. And there's still a four-butthole tiny demon with a top hat. Wow, we were... We just were really went through something. I don't... I feel like it would really calm me down to maybe read some emails. So who's your guest for today? No, I didn't have a guest. We were going to talk about Earth stuff. Wow. Oh, oh, man. Oh, today was the Earth stuff? We'll do it, ev- we'll do oh, it eventually. Well. Look, uh, maybe why don't I read some emails here? Uh, if you want to email us here at the podcast, you can email us at magictavern at puppies.supplies. I swear it's a real email address. Um, here's one I got recently. Uh, it's uh, addressed to Carney. That's Carnival. I recently discovered that we are fellow alumni of OU. Go Bobcats. I was curious if there was a bar on Court Street that was similar to the Vermilion Minotaur, as well as what your Athens tavern of choice would be. Eric, master of the house, confounder of variables, thwarter of the mentalists, reverser of baselines, conqueror of Jeff Hill. I like his name. Yeah, it's quite a name. Uh, well, you know, Eric... Um, I did go to Ohio University uh, back on Earth. That's where I, that's where I studied. Ah, that's what OU stands for. That's what OU stands for. I thought he just didn't know all the vowels. <laughs> it's true. Um, I would say, I mean, the Vermilion Minotaur, I guess, sort of like the Union. So there's a court street? Is that like a King's Court? No, it's just a really long street with a lot of bars on it. You guys would love it. Does the Burger Regent frequent this court street? I don't think so. Uh, I mean, this was I was there a long time ago, um, and, there, and there was no Burger King. Mostly just a lot of places to buy bagels. Um, I would say that the Vermilion Minotaur is a, like a not quite as nice the Union um, or... It's actually probably like the Smiling Skull Saloon, which is one of my favorite. Ooh, the Smiling, Smiling Skull. Skull. I know. Whoa, whoa. It's kind of like it seems like it's going to be scary, but it's cool. He's it's done just, uh, Chunt's Night before. The sm- <laughs> there's a Smiling Skull mm-hmm. here? Yeah. He tells, like, um, just, like, really positive stories. He and Open Mike are great friends. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, Open Mike, who's an inside outer, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to check out Open Mike Night sometime. What about Chun's Night? No, not going to happen. Chun, did you get any emails this week? I did. Let's see here. Um, this is from Andy Mancini. He says, hey, Chun, I hope you get this email. I guess Arnold must let you, use his, mm-hmm, must let you use his laptop from time to time. Something's been bugging me, and it's the pun in Chun's Up With That. What is it? Because chunt sounds like another word that doesn't really fit in that line anyway. Is there a pun I'm missing? I reckon what's up chunt is infinitely better and works on numerous levels. Uh, from Andy Mancini. Uh, there's no pun. It's just, that's just what I say. Yeah, it's chunt's, it's up, with chunt's up with that. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. What's the word he's thinking of? Yeah, that's not a good one. I don't know. I... Now, you said, or you also, you're on Twitter now. And people can yes. contact you. You can twat at me at Usador the Blue. You can also contact me. By digging a grave, burying yourself in this grave, and speaking the words of the Pandanomicon backwards, and thinking about how much you hate Spintax. All of the words from the pa- like the whole book, the whole book backwards. It's gr- it's just as good backwards as it is forwards. I'd just get it's on right. Twitter. That seems a lot easier. Oh, also, it. you can reach me. I forgot to mention. You can reach me. Reach me at chunt at gmail dot com. That's chunt with six t's, uh, and I will only respond to emails with uh, the subject line Smash Mouth. Uh, as always, please write us. Uh, uh, positive reviews on iTunes. It really helps. People on Earth need to know about this stuff. Uh, clearly, the Dark Lord wants to get to Earth, so the people of Earth need to know more about this. So write us a review on iTunes. Give us a lot of stars. Uh, give it the subject line, Smash Mouth. I'm going to get a uh, broom and get some of these uh, freed souls off the ceiling. Oh, yeah. It's Otak is going to be so pissed at us. We made yeah, He's going to be very angry. really messy. Let's do a story one word at a time. There once came Dick <laughs> well, that was creepy. Good thing it wasn't real. If it was real, your world's governments would certainly start mucking around in things they shouldn't be mucking around in. What I'm saying is, stay in your own dimension. I mean, our dimension. I mean, there aren't dimensions. Chunt the Badger is a sensitive guy, and he's always played by Adel Refai. 
Usador the Blue likes to shout with his lung, and he's handily portrayed by the human Matt Young. I can't sustain that any longer. Special guest Ross Bryant played the Soul Walker. Ross will be performing with Improvised Shakespeare at Largo in L.A. September 15th and 16th. You can follow Ross on Twitter at Ross Bryant. And this episode's special cover art was also made by Ross. That way, if acting doesn't pan out, he has another skill to fall back on. Art, that moneymaker. Check out more of Ross's art on Instagram, at RossBB. Otak Barleyfoot was played by Nick Bear. This podcast was produced by Ryan DeGiorgi, Evan Jakover, and Arnie Niekamp. In case you're wondering if podcasting is a full-time career, you idiot, Evan and Arnie both spend their days working at Jackbox Games, making party games like Quiplash and Fibbage and Drawful. Get these games on Steam, PS3, PS4, and Xbox One, or simply go to jackboxgames.com. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes and give it a review. Make sure to mention that it's not real. I'm watching you all very closely. To prove my point, which has already been excellently argued, Trisha will now read several of the names of people who gave the podcast five-star reviews on iTunes. Are you there, Trisha? Um, okay, I'll, I'll try. I'll do my best. Um, Mishnah 214, Mr. Mystery Von Covington. That's a good one. Tomite. Where is Thera? Where is Thra? Where is Thra? CC Kelly. Rudra Makes Movies. Josh TPR. C Caldwell 25. I'm Body RTR. Jimmy Jim. BRZ 2099. Bros. Bros. 2099. TD Sinclair. Shy Guy Freddy. Dusty of Oris. I like hyphens. Oh, and it's hyphenated. That's clever. The Token Ginger. Mare Diddy S. And I, I, I can't read the rest of these right now. Oh, Trisha, I suspect you're going to destroy me. We'll do more of those very soon. All of this creepy, playful, fantastical world building was brought to you by BitBash via the Chicago Podcast Co-op. Get your tickets to BitBash at 10% off with the promo code PODCAST10 at bitbashchicago.com. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including... All the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.